Digging deep into Austin's history and the presence of hate groups in the area. Tonight at 6, we showed you the groups the Southern Poverty Law Center is tracking in the region right now. Now, KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller takes a look back in Austin to a time when the Ku Klux Klan marched at the state capitol. Larry Jackson knows his Austin history because he's part of it. It has been an assembly place for African Americans forever. Jackson was here in 1983 when the Ku Klux Klan marched at the state capitol. I was just there protesting. Austin just in the 80s would not ever tolerate that kind of thinking. Austin really was a truly progressive city. The Klan was heavily outnumbered. Police and protesters all descended on downtown Austin. National media reports at the Times that members of the anti-Klan crowd shouted and threw rocks. Twelve people were injured here and officers arrested several people. But in 1983 in Austin, Austin, Travis County, the Klan was and still is a joke. I mean a serious joke because it is a racist organization, but no one could openly profess to actually be a Klansman around here and hope to, to uh, uh, you know, survive economically or socially. Jackson spoke with us briefly about modern hate groups. He recognizes that some people still harbor hateful yes, beliefs I, to this it, day. It shows that these ideas still exist in our community. Yes. The Texas Department of Public Safety looked at the threats to the state in a report released last legislative session. The report says anti-government or racial extremist groups have had significant footholds in Texas. It says groups like the KKK usually don't openly support crime and they have not been specifically linked with any recent attacks. However, it points to several recent incidents when it says someone acts on radical anti-government ideas. Listing the 2010 attack on the Austin office building, housing an IRS office as an example. Still, the Southern Poverty Law Center, an organization monitoring hate groups, is focusing more on the group's words than possible actions. Our chief concern these days is less uh, what a tiny little Klan group itself might do and more what the propaganda that emanates in these groups uh, does once it enters the political mainstream. Jackson has a similar view these days. He concerns himself with how local policies are now affecting Austin communities rather than focusing on hate groups that may be quietly operating in Central Texas. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. Kevin, thank you. And online right now are our full investigation where we show you where hate groups still exist today in Central Texas. This is in the investigative section of KXAN.com. And remember, if you have something you want us to investigate, email us at report it at KXAN.com.